Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, Sigtran, signal link transfer, uh, MTP layer 3 message programming. That means uh, Sigtran has various layers. Uh, so, MTP layer 3, what are the messages and how to build messages? As a developer, how we will uh, develop the MTP layer 3 messages? So, byte by byte, I will be describing all the details today. So, uh, this is the topic today so before starting friends let's see this uh, this is my channel here i have already uploaded few more videos related to ss7 and this is another video regarding sigtran how sigtran works overview of sigtran how what are the various layers of sigtran so all these things i have described here so <clears throat> these two videos you can view before starting i recommend strongly recommend to check this videos video first before starting this video if you are a new uh, to sigtran so let's uh, see the next so this is just a recap of my earlier video here you can see that uh, this is the mtp3 ss7 layers so mtp1 mtp2 mtp3 above that SACP, tk map inap or isap all these messages we can uh, build so so in m3 ua so what is called sigtran the mtp layer 1 and layer 2 is replaced with scc sctp and ip so here the two nodes communicate over sctp so i recommend you to check my earlier video there it is described how why sctp is introduced here and all this how the communication happens so better go with go through my earlier video so it's just a recap so here sctp association happens and above that mtp layer 3 it starts from the mtp layer 3 m3 way connection so let's see if it is <clears throat> So let's see if uh, M3 way how what are the various layers if we will capture it in a uh, trace so how it looks like so here uh, you can see that these are the layers here I have captured a SMS a SMS uh, in uh, Vaishak trace so it's just a M3 way connection two nodes are connected over M3 way so one node is sending an SMS to another uh, node. Uh, through SMSC. So here you can see that the uh, what I have mentioned M3 way layer. So here the SCTP layer which is uh, here the IP layer. The lowest layer is the IP layer then the SCTP layer then MTP layer 3 then above that based on the type of your uh, your uh, message it can be SCCP ticket map or uh, ISOP or anything else is possible based on the protocol standards so here I have used GSM map so it's SCCP ticket and map so here is a uh, uh, SMS so MTP layer 3 so I am going to describe the MTP layer 3 how the MTP layer 3 uh, message as a developer if you are working or if you are debugging uh, SCCP messages m 3 messages so how you will debug the MTP layer 3 messages so this is I am going to discuss in details today so let's start friends here here is the protocol format of the SCCP uh, MTP layer 3 so here is the version then next byte is the reserve byte then the comes the message class then message type then the message length so if i uh, show the same thing in uh, versha capture here you can see that the first first byte is the version second byte is the reserve which is 00 is sent third byte is the message class fourth byte is the message byte then the message length length of the entire message from here to all the layers this message length is uh, mentioned here this byte so let's uh, check what uh, individual individual parameters in details so let's see the version parameters so what uh, as per the standards what is mentioned that version parameter is 8 bits and the version number supported is 1.0 so here you can see while constructing the mtp layer 3 here the version number is mentioned as 1 so this is the version number supported next byte is reserve byte then comes the message class message class and types 
so next byte is the message class so what are the various message classes possible in mtp layer 3 so there mtp layer 3 has a uh, different kind of operations it has to uh, support so there are multiple operations based on operation uh, i mean type of message uh, the message class is set so message class is following this uh, zero means the management message one means the transfer message two means ss7 signaling network management messages three means asp state maintenance messages four means asp traffic maintenance messages and these are the messages and ninth is the routing key management messages so i will be describing the all these messages individually in separate video in details every message every message classes different meanings and what are the various messages comes under this uh, class i will be describing in details in another video so these are the reserve bytes for ietf defined so here you can see <coughs> here this example here i have used the message classes transfer message because uh, here i am sending the data to uh, one one node to another uh, node m3 way node so uh, basically one uh, signaling uh, sms gateway sending the data to another gateway so uh, so here the message class is mentioned as transfer messages because this message falls under transfer message so this is the message class mentioned here then the message comes the message type now the message uh, Message types are various messages. The following list constrains the message types like error messages, notify messages, and these are uh, reserved byte management messages. So this message uh, management message has uh, two types of messages, basically error messages and notify messages. And uh, reserve payload data uh, is another message. As signaling network management messages are this destination unavailable destination available destination state audit signaling congestion so basically uh, if you see this diagram here so there are two nodes if there are some network management uh, issues happens between two ASP nodes how they will uh, inform to each other so to inform to each other this kind of messages are uh, introduced like if it is a management message if some error happens so one node can send error message to another message then notify message then payload data message while sending a message like mm, yeah, like sending an sms and all this so payload data messages are used so signaling network management messages comes like destination unavailable destination available so these are mtp layer 3 messages so while uh, setting up the ASP connection if destination is unavailable so this message is sent if destination becomes available like here you can see if two mess two management messages two ASPs are there so if uh, one ASP is unavailable then uh, it will send a management me message like destination unavailable when it becomes up again it will send a destination available message so these are the various messages supported destination unavailable destination available destination state audit so i will be describing this uh, individual messages with the uh, message uh, bytes parameters and all this in a separate video so this is just an overview of all the uh, possible uh, messages here so uh, so this is uh, this is about asp state maintenance messages so if asp is up then it send ASP up message, ASP down, it sent uh, for heartbeat messages, so it sends heartbeat messages, ASP up acknowledgement, so ASP up message as in ASP up acknowledgement message, so these are related to ASP state maintenance messages. Then here ASP traffic maintenance messages, so these are like ASP active, ASP inactive, and ASP active acknowledgement, inactive acknowledgement. So these are maintenance related messages, ASP traffic maintenance related messages. So I will be showing this when it's, these messages are useful in next videos. I will be showing when these messages, uh, one node sends this message to another node. 
so these are ASP traffic maintenance related messages so routing key management messages so what is routing key and how this routing key is useful, used in uh, m3way message so these are basically the messages like registration request registration response deregistration request and response so these are basically the routing key management related messages so two asp nodes have, when they communicate with each other the registration is required so how this registration happens and what are the uh, messages how to construct these messages so i will be describing this in details in another video so these are routing key management related messages so now if you uh, if you check this uh, voice of trees so here we have to mention the message class basically when we send a message it can be a transfer message so I already mentioned what are the various possible classes here. So these are the possible classes. Now if someone send a management message, it he will send the class as 0. If it is transfer message, it will be set as 1. Because here I am sending a transfer message, so it's set as 1. So underlying, uh, underlying protocol, underlying message structure will be dependent on the message class. What, ki what kind of class it is. So based on that, rest of the uh, rest of the underlying uh, message data will be constructed now here I have sent a transfer message so I set it to 1 so here is the message type so once the message uh, class is sent then we have to mention the message type so here like uh, here I am sending data so I have sent message type as 1 so here the payload data is uh, set so it is set as one then the message length as per the uh, so here you can see that payload data option is there transfer message is uh, one option which is so zero is for reserve two to twenty seven hundred twenty seven up to this is reserved only transfer message only supports payload data so here i have mentioned the message type is payload data because transfer message means only sending the data from one node to another node so here the message type is set as payload data so next is the message length so this message length is the length of the entire message so it calculates the at the end uh, basically if you are a developer and if you want to build a uh, you want to send in uh, m3 a message so what you have to do is you have to go to the end you have to construct the entire message first then you have to feel the length of this message so this is how it works uh, so now uh, as i am sending a payload data so it's the message type is payload data so payload data has these parameters so let's see i'm just discussing the payload data here today so how to create the payload data so protocol data is a variable length parameter so for protocol data parameter contains the following fields like service indicator network indicator message priority destination point code origination point code signaling link selection code sls so these are the things supported so so service indicator basically means uh, So here the protocol tag and length because this is a variable length parameter so protocol data tag is here and the protocol length is here then starts the OPC, DPC, uh, origination point code, destination point code this I have described already in my earlier video what is origination and destination point code and how it works so this uh, OPC, DPC then SI, SI is the service indicator which kind of service you want to support like there are various service possible if you go through the mtp layer 3 so above mtp layer 3 there are various services possible scp iserp and all these are possible so here is the service indicator so the possible values of service indicator are iserp scp or tup parameters so this can be these are the possible values of these so here i am using sccp so i have mentioned s3 if it is an isop message i will have mentioned something else 
so this is service indicator and i use the national indicator so the message that you are sending is a national or international format so all these are mentioned here national uh, indicator parameter then network indicator uh, and message priority then uh, so this is this is the format of the message so origination point code this is 32 bits origination point code the destination point code is 32 bits then comes the si ni mp and sls so so message priority is 8 bit so here you can see that uh, uh, signaling link selection you can mention the number which signaling link you want to use for this uh, message to transfer so this is based on the signaling link selection this is the your message priority you can set your priority here so uh, immediate delivery or something like that so this priority can be set here then this is ni and scp so these are overall mtp layer 3 messages if it is a transfer message you have to format it like this so these are dynamic parameter as a developer you just have to st uh, have to network byte stream you have to set the network byte stream for a mtp layer 3 message so you just have to follow the protocol standard and you have to set the values in bytes accordingly as mentioned in the standard so this is how uh, the MTP layer 3 messages are constructed in uh, M3UA, uh, M3UA connection. So, uh, so this is uh, signaling link selection, it's 8 bit user protocol data then once uh, all this uh, then the rest of the things are like uh, user protocol data so once this sls is sent so rest of the protocol data is like this because mtp layer 3 bears all the data in uh, i mean signaling transcode and uh, uh, sccp tcap and map i mean if it is transfer message sccp message so it uh, bears all the messages so the protocol data means the entire message after that after these parameters the entire message means the protocol data so friends this is all about uh, mtp layer 3 for transfer message so i will be describing other messages like uh, if it is maintenance message, SP state maintenance message, SP traffic maintenance message or routing key management message. So I will be describing all the uh, other parameters as well. Today I only discussed one parameter which is uh, which is the uh, protocol data parameter. So similarly I will be uploading more videos related to other parameters in my future videos. So friends if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so here is my channel so you can subscribe here and if you if you are subscribed you will get a notification if i will upload new videos so friends here i have uploaded few more videos like c boy party p then i have uploaded uh, open source related video cp traffic testing tool related videos smpp smsc and sms related videos plus webrtc related videos so if you are interested you can view other videos as well uh, so friends thank you thanks for watching